all right hi everyone welcome to my video and in this video i'm gonna be teaching you how to store images on a database using python and sqlite so first of all make sure you have your image so here you see i have an Im image so let's get started with the coding itself first uh, without uh, wasting much of time first of all i need to explain you the basic how to read and write an image and then we are going to learn how to write the the image on our database or uh, using sqlite python so first of all um what i'm gonna do is uh i, I have to read the image so these the, these are the basic steps that you need to know so with open what is the name of the file one dot png um comma i'm gonna do a read byte because i'm reading the image as binary okay then i say f dot read all so basically this will read the image so if I print it, you should um, see the binary garbage data or binary data of the image. So let me quickly run that. So here you can see that is the, my entire PNG image. So I, if I do a quickly an len function on that, so that this will show me the length of the image, which is 95,300. 3262 and um, that's it now i need to do something with this image let me show you how to write an image so uh, what i do is with open i'm gonna say received dot png as oops not as comma as write binary because my data is binary and i'm writing a binary okay so i'm gonna do m dot write oh not m because let me choose some other variable so q dot write m um so if i run this code it will read the image and it will it will basically store it in a new file known as received dot png so if i run this um uh, now i should have a file known as received dot png so this is how you read an image and uh, write an image it's pretty easy we just have had a look at it now let's create a database and you know try to um basically visualize uh, the codes on a database so before that i need to delete the old images so because i like to, things to be organized so give me one sec while i delete the image all right i have deleted the image and uh, let's go ahead and make our, our database so in order to make a database you need five things first of all make a connection make a cursor create tables both insert data and commit these are the five rules so let's get started so i'm gonna say import sqlite a lot of people said you you are not able to see the font size so i am making it a little big so please let me know your comments uh please let me know your suggestions so i can improve my videos okay so um after that i need to define my connection connection equals to sqlite dot connect and the name of the database so what would be my name of the database is image dot db since it's it's gonna have all the images and so after defining that so i'm gonna define my cursor equals to con dot cursor so i have defined my cursor then i need to create a table cursor dot execute triple quotes because i need to execute my sql query select oh no not select it's gonna be um create table okay let me just turn the caps on create table if not exist and uh, name of the table would be my underscore table this table will have um two columns basically that is the name of that is a name or name and then the image so i'm gonna say name and um, i'm gonna say text that means basically it's a string then second would be my data that is nothing but my image okay so data now it's gonna be blob blob is basically uh, storing the data that is like the entire binary image um so i have created a table uh, known as my table and uh, there would be two columns known as name and data then i need to just insert my data into the uh, into the into my table so before cre before this after like creating a table i need to commit the changes so con dot commit then i need to close the connection before closing the connection i need to close the cursor as well 
that's all now i let me run this and uh, make sure that uh, the database was created all right so it says a uh, small error right here i think this should work uh, and we should see image.db so i'm gonna delete it uh, so i'm gonna do reveal in finder all right and um, just want to make sure that my sql queries are uh, perfect so i'm just gonna copy this and paste it right here so basically the same thing so instead of temperature i'm gonna say name and data blob lovely so this will basically create a table known as my table and the name of the database would be image.db so if i run it sure enough it has created a database now let me open the database and show it to you and now we'll insert an image into that real quick so let me do reveal in finder so here we have open with db browser and it should have three columns if i'm not mistaken so if i go to my tables if i go to browse data i have data name and id lovely now we need to insert data into this so i don't need this anymore so i can say if i need to uh, write some data right so i have to first of all read the image with open the that is the name of the image that is one dot png comma read as binary as file then i'm gonna say data equals to f dot read that's all now i need to add into my database cursor dot uh, i'm gonna say cursor dot execute then uh, of course triple quote i usually uh, like to use triple quotes when i'm doing my sql query insert into my table then of course you need to specify the name of the columns um if i'm not mistaken the name of the columns were so if i just do a reveal in finder and if i do open with uh, the db browser it should basically tell me the name of the tables um name of the columns sorry my mistake so um here we have name and data so i'm gonna say name name data so insert into my table these are the column that i need to insert then i need to insert values question mark question mark all right and of course the value so let's say uh, my name is somil shah and the data would be an image so we just read an uh, image here i showed you how to read and write an image so uh, what i'm gonna do basically i'm gonna pass name and i'm gonna pass data and if i run the sql query basically it will add an image on the database sure it is it has added a, added the image on the database so if I, if I go back and if i go to the browse data so here you can see image data cannot be read now let me show you by reading this as an image and storing it on a file so uh so just to make sure that i am not doing any cheating i am deleting the image here so i can show it to you that now i now i'm reading the image from the database i don't have the image anymore on my system so i have deleted the image now what i need to do is i just need to let's say you have an image on a database i need to retrieve that image so the way i'm gonna do that is cursor dot execute so i'm gonna execute a sql query select everything from my underscore table okay so just select everything from my underscore table then i'm gonna say m equals to cursor dot execute uh am i right it was cursor dot execute I'm, 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 i just want to make sure uh cursor dot execute yep that's that's correct so uh i'm gonna say m equals to all right now i just need to iterate over the data for 
x in m print x zero zero. So this will print my name basically if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so type error int object is not susceptible. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, a mistake. After I, I should say range length of of course m because I want to iterate over the data. <laughs> All right, so um, this should work. Let's see. Okay, we still have some errors. So let me see what am I doing wrong. So basically the thing is uh, I, I'm getting a tuple. Um, so what I had to do, I had to say for X in M, and if I just say print x, so it will print all the data on the database. All right, that's beautiful, but I just need the name and the date. How do I get the specific data? Uh, so if I pass in a, an argument known as zero, that is an index. So I got the first uh, index number. Now if I say one, it will print my name. Now if I say two, it will print the image on the from the database. That's beautiful. Now I need to extract this data. So I'm going to say receive data um, x of 2. All right, lovely. So we have fetched the data from a database. Now I need to store it. File with open. I'm going to say sawmill.png as usual you do want to write bytes as this you're right and of course it's going to be received data and if you run this and it will have an image of my name known as sawmill.png that's amazing so we learned how to read an image from a database we learned how to write an image from a, to a database if you guys like this video do give a like and uh, let me know what you are thinking and what you are building um so if you have any questions comment or suggestion please leave them in the comment section below and i shall get back to you as soon as possible um but i am a little bit busy this 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 semester because i'm i have taken a little uh, tough subjects regarding machine learning and deep learning but i shall try my best to get back to you uh as soon as possible so that's it for this video and i shall see you uh, in the next video thank you so much for watching